Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly resolve the critical error on your WordPress website. So basically, we are going to resolve this issue. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now when we try to go to our demo website, we receive this issue. And when we try to log in to the dashboard, we cannot do that either and it shows a critical error. So to resolve this, we must access the site's root directory. This is only possible using the cPanel or FTP. It really depends on your hosting and the packages you have. Anyway, we have a cPanel hosting and we have logged it into the cPanel. Go to File Manager. Again, the cPanel might look very different in your case, but you should find the same settings. Anyway, go to the file manager. And now we need to locate our website files, which are usually under public underscore HTML. So here are all our website files. Whenever you see any kind of errors on your site, you should first see the error log. Right click on it and click view or edit. Edit. So this will display the error. If you follow the location from the domain name, you can see the error in the plugin, and this is the plugin causing an error. Though it states the error line, we are not going to fix that, rather deactivate and reinstall the plugin. Let's go to WP Content and Plugins folder. WP Content Plugins folder and we have an issue with this plugin. Simply right click and rename. You can rename anything. I will write all. So it is done. Let's try to refresh the website. So it seems to work. Let me quickly log in. The dashboard looks fine. And the website looks good too. If I go to plugins, this plugin has been deactivated. If we activate this plugin, there will be an error. So I would rather delete it. And I will reinstall the plugin. This is the plugin. Activate. So this seems to work. These errors may occur when you have auto updates enabled, as there might be some conflicts with other plugins or themes or WordPress. So this is one way to fix it. But sometimes the error log is empty. No information. Something like this. Then there are two things you can do. First, rename the plugin folder. You can rename it with any name. Or you can rename the active theme. So this is the active theme. Simply rename it. Let me show you what happens when a plugin folder is renamed. I will add all. Then you should be able to access the dashboard and all plugins will be disabled. After this, go back to cPanel and rename the plugin folder back to plugins. Let me reload the dashboard. All the plugins will come back but will be deactivated. Then you will have to activate each plugin to find the plugin that is giving an error. So do this for all the plugins and remove the faulty plugins. But if you cannot access the site after renaming the plugin folder, it may be because of the theme. Simply rename the active theme and check the site. If accessible, log in and go to themes. 
so the active theme will be deactivated. And here's the one we renamed. If the site is accessible, it basically was because of the theme. To fix this, download the theme from the original source and activate it. Please do not forget to copy the custom codes you added. After that, you can remove other themes. So this is how you can resolve critical error issues on WordPress. Thank you very much.